thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Wynn. And I'm Sylvia Lopez. A police officer was shot during a bank. Greg, and uh, the officer was able to drive himself to the hospital. That is where Kate... UCLA is responding to a scathing article about its basketball team. Sports Illustrated is out with an article alleging drug use and very bad behavior. Our dad, after a violent storm system, ripped through parts of the Midwest. Six of those deaths were in southeast Illinois. KCAL 9's Big Ad Shaban reports 16 tornado sightings were reported across the area. Well, Mitt Romney picked up wins in Arizona and Michigan last night, then immediately hit the road. He is in Ohio today. KCAL 9's Randall Pinkston reports the Key Swing State has a primary coming up on Super Tuesday. Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Sylvia Lopez. And I'm Lena Wynn. Disturbing new reports today about a school fight that led to the death of a 10-year-old Long Beach girl. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez gives us a closer look at the investigation and the possible consequences the other child involved uh, may face. A suspected thief probably will need a few good men to get out of this legal mess. And tonight on KCAL 9 News at 10, a married father and teacher quits his job, walks out on his family, and moves in with a teenage student. Tonight, reaction from her horrified mother, plus what the new couple has to say for themselves, and why police may not be able to do a thing about it. Watch it all tonight on KCAL 9 News at 10. What are the odds of having not one, but two siblings born on February 29th? Two local sisters grew up celebrating their birthday every four years. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson shows us how they're the guests of honor for a special party for leap year babies. Organizations around the world today are hoping to raise awareness about a rare disease, about rare diseases. Patients and their families face daunting challenges. KCAL 9's Duarte Geraldino introduces us to one family that's fighting for their son's life. 